Hello, what's up, guys? My name is Hotsusty, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft where we are still not mining any generated blocks. Last time we did a few odd jobs here and there, connected a nether portal here to this area, uh, sorted out our ender chest, uh, uh, stocked up on golden carrots and uh, rockets so we can actually fly now that we have an elytra. So now it's time to get back into project mode. And one project is getting the slime farm all the way down which means uh, more TNT blasting so I think that's not too interesting so maybe in one of the following episodes we can have a time lapse uh, when I do that then here on this side uh, that's also a slime chunk, but I was thinking if we extend this one all the way to the bottom, we could have a creeper farm in here that is a bit more uh, efficient than what we have over at our village. But this is not what we will do today. And our project here is in the nether, right below our gold farm, uh, which gives you already a hint. We will create a bartering setup here on top of the nether roof. I thought about doing it below, but that would mean we have to create the space and uh, up here we actually have it um, so let's first um, uh, not the pillars um, let's use those create those two slabs and that should then um, our floor spawn proof uh, we can later decorate it and the, the first thing that I want to do here is have a bit of a storage system uh, so that we can store all our items in here and we will use uh, a sorting system uh, similar to the one above there. However, this will be a bit more uh, complicated or larger, I should say, uh, because we get more items from bartering that we want to keep. Uh, up there, we only have golden ingots and golden nuggets. And here I think we will have two sets of uh, 12 chests so that for certain items I can have more than one filter set up like uh, blackstone, gravel um, and uh, quartz. Uh, those will be very valuable and I want to have more of them. And uh, for the rest of the items, if the chests are full, uh, we will just destroy the rest. So let's create two modules of three. As you can see, the sorting system on two sides with uh, 12 chests each is now complete. And from the sound of it, you can also hear that the piston moving uh, should work uh, in a similar fashion as we have up there. So if I drop in a few items here, then you can see it gets pushed over and then this piston uh, 
pushes them along that side and that's just by simply extending the signal uh, from this side and you have to be a bit careful with the with the delay you don't want the items to arrive there while the piston is extended because then they would uh, bump into the slime block and not the uh, honey block um, so that all works out nicely and down here we have the uh, uh, the lever to turn the thing on and this lever is then for the uh, for the a dropper that will uh, push all the things in here and we feed this dropper uh, through three hoppers here on top um, but I would imagine that uh, we will have um, three we can have three or we can have even six uh, piglins uh, to do the bartering and then sort things out so that's the next step to figure out the bartering cells now are also in place uh, with a bit of decoration where i have the material and you can see down here on that glass block down there that's where the gold will drop from here and then it can be picked up by um, piglins either on this side or on that side and we basically have three of these setups here which means we can have uh, up to six piglins to water this. Then here on the back collection system with hoppers and uh, composters on top to reduce lag, all feeding into the drop down there, which then uh, pushes it through the uh, sorting system. But what we now have to do is actually getting uh, some piglins in here and I have placed a bit of uh, a glass block here in front because that means we can have rails um, going in, maybe not all the way in, like this. And a bit of a, a spawning platform uh, out here uh, where we hopefully can spawn a few piglins, snatch them with a minecart and then shove them into their cells. As you can see, all the piglins are in their stalls and I also started decorating a bit with uh, quartz and blue uh, overtones and here on top we have a chest for the gold input which will drop uh, the gold uh, through there have not yet hooked up the redstone and I don't think we will complete the, um, the decoration in this episode. Uh, what I still want to do is some kind of staircase uh, to come up here and also to the back there and uh, basically a kind of roof over here to separate this part of it and then of course back there uh, need a mechanism for uh, the, um, for the gold to, uh, to filter through. 
but uh, let's see what I can do uh, with uh, this staircase up here. Now, while I am working a bit more on the decoration, I thought um, I could put in a bit of gold because I have put in here a mechanism uh, below this nasty couple there is a ESO hopper clock get the output here on this side and that triggers the uh, dispensers and the thing is simply activated by this node block there we see the gold blue dispensed. Uh, we probably have to see about the, the frequency. I think only half of them have actually gold. And then everything. Ah. Yeah. Uh, back here. Um, This one needs also be turned up, and then we should see all the things pop out here, and then we can also sort out the filters that we want to have. And I think we start here. Um, let's just put everything in there for now so that I can sort this out later. And I think the most used items, or the items that I want to have stored the most will be here on this side, uh, which is probably, oh, that's, that's not what the trading, which is probably uh, blackstone, gravel, and, um, and uh, quartz, uh, and then what I also want is uh, obsidian, but there I guess we will not get huge amounts. So we will have to see how that turns out. But as you can see, this system works quite nicely. So I will let the, the bit of gold that I have put in there run through and then work a bit more on the decoration so that uh, at least for this episode we can call this done at least so. As you can see the sorting and storage is somewhat set up down here. We also have the new blocks in already. Then up here we have a partial decoration. Then of course back here all the gold is used. So hopefully everything should be spawn proof. Yeah, maybe not over there. So the last thing to do is here at the end. We want to have a netherite block and light it up. So all the items that do not uh, go in any of the hoppers are burned. And I think the the last five, six chests, yeah, that's uh, uh, all the other chunk 
unstackable items that are not sorted and I think I will only really keep the fire resistance uh, maybe the good soul speed books but we do not need anything else so yeah there is still a bit of uh, spawn prof proofing to do but that's it for this episode we have a bartering system set up so uh, we can get even more blocks without mining them which is essential for this series so hope you enjoyed it and join next time for more minecraft until then goodbye